Queen Elizabeth I, the legendary virgin queen, a ruler who vowed to remain single, pledging her life to her kingdom. But behind the stone walls of her court, whispers of a forbidden romance lingered. Did the powerful queen truly live without love? Or was her heart secretly entwined with one man? Born into a world of danger and intrigue, Elizabeth learned early that trust was a luxury few could afford. Her early years were scarred by family betrayals and the constant threat of assassination. By the time she became queen, Elizabeth knew the price of survival, complete devotion to her kingdom and her throne. But there was one exception, one person who seemed to know her better than anyone, Robert Dudley. They had known each other since childhood, their lives linked by the twisting, treacherous roads of Tudor politics. As adults, they grew inseparable, and soon, Dudley became her master of the horse, a trusted title that allowed him constant access to the queen. The court noticed their closeness, and rumors began to swirl. Could Elizabeth's heart, guarded so fiercely, actually belong to Robert Dudley? Their bond was undeniable, a connection deeper than mere friendship. Dudley's rise in power only fueled the court's suspicions. Elizabeth even gifted him a prestigious title, Earl of Leicester. But Dudley wasn't just her confidant, he was rumored to be her lover. In a time when marriage was seen as a duty for monarchs, Elizabeth's choice to remain unmarried became even more scandalous. Foreign diplomats reported back to their countries with stories of the Queen's fascination with Dudley. The court was abuzz with gossip, each noble wondering how far this relationship had truly gone. And then, tragedy struck. Dudley's wife, Amy Robsart, was found dead, fallen down a flight of stairs. Was it a tragic accident or something far more sinister? Some whispered that Dudley might have had his wife killed to be free to marry the queen. But Elizabeth knew that any hint of scandal could destroy her reputation and endanger her rule. For the sake of her crown, she put distance between herself and Dudley, leaving their relationship forever in the shadows. Over the years, Dudley remained her closest friend, a source of comfort and strength. When he eventually married another, Elizabeth reportedly locked herself in her chamber for days, refusing to see anyone. And when Dudley died in 1588, Elizabeth is said to have kept his last letter by her bedside until the day she herself passed. To this day, historians wonder, did Elizabeth truly sacrifice love for her kingdom, or was Robert Dudley the secret lover she could never openly claim? The truth remains locked in history, buried within letters and glances in the spaces between duty and desire. So, what do you think? Was Elizabeth's heart ever truly untouched, or did Robert Dudley hold a place there, a hidden love that was never meant to see the light of day? Let us know in the comments, and if you're fascinated by stories from history's shadows, subscribe to Arcana Axis and join us as we explore the secrets of the past.